episode of Moments with Murph, we're going to talk about compliments and if it's flirting. So, I got a guest today. She's one of my great old friends. Hishari. Hello, you guys. Yeah, she got a nice, very high-pitched, low, low-quality voice. But it's okay, though. We're not going to get on her. <laughs> We're not going to get on her. We're not going to get on her. But I think it's going to be a good topic. Very funny. So we're going to hop right into it. So we're going to start with a dim moment. And for those who don't know what a dim moment is, it's D-I-M, define it, Murph, or defend it, Murph. So we're going to talk about defining it. And we're going to start with the definition of flirt slash flirting. So Google has it as behave as though attracted to or trying to attract to someone but for amusement rather than with serious intentions. Really? Yeah, what's your type of definition? Oh, mine says, um, flirting. Oh, well, flirting is, oh, yeah, hmm. Never mind, mine says the same thing. Uh, <laughs> well, I guess, um, we're on the same, uh, okay, so, hold on, if you had, to give a definition, what would you choose? Flirting would definitely like mean like some romantic involvement, or you want to have some romantic involvement. I like of some sort. I would I would meet you in the middle because I ain't gonna fake. Like sometimes flirting is like a is like a game. Like <laughs> it, it depends. It depends on who you flirting with. Yeah. If it's a game. Kinda. Well, okay, in, in a sense. Because, I mean, I get amusement out of it. But I kind of like to see, like, how it go. So, okay, how it... So, how do you flirt, then? I, I don't. I don't flirt. I don't. I try not to. A lot of people say I'm flirtatious, but I don't think so. I just say that's being really nice. I'm nice. But I don't flirt. Not intentionally. I find it hard to believe. Not saying it's because it's you, <clears throat> and like I know of you, or I know you, but I it, it, it's kind of hard because like okay, you said like not intentionally, and that's 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 facts. But I, I don't know. It, it just like females kind of do it because they like the amusement out of it. <laughs> it's males that do it. <laughs> I mean, kind of, sort of, because like. Okay, because, like, the way I flirt, like, it, it kind of, the way I flirt depends on who it is. And, I said that. right, but it kind of depends on, well, okay, so, depending on who it is doesn't decipher if I'm going to flirt. No, yeah, it doesn't decipher if I'm going to flirt. It deciphers how I'm going to flirt. Because if I want to flirt, I'm going to just do that regardless. Because I like to see, you know, reactions. I want to see what, you know, I can get someone to say or think or speak. Yes, learning at its best. <laughs> All right, so I guess you're not too fond of that one. But <laughs> but again, like, I mean, to me, it's, it's nothing wrong with that. Like, I don't, I, I don't see, I, okay, I'll take it back. Some people probably don't like that because it's misleading. And, okay, you're a little biased. Of flirting. Well, the people's definition of flirting, not Google's. Right, but we, okay, if you guys don't know, and which we all should know, we should know flirting comes with its risk. It's really 50 50. Sometimes we really, you know, attract to you, like, like for instance, where when I'm flirting, I have a tendency to like gaze because I'm kind of just interested. It's just like, hmm, I like her personality. I like her, you know, her structure. I love her body. You know, I love her face. I love the hair, the eyes. Eyes and braces catch my attention all the time, no matter what. But like the way I'll go about it, it depends on like how I word my sentences. Um, females say I got this. this <laughs> okay. So, mm, okay, when it comes to like talking and I want to flirt, a lot of times, first I will start with how they, I'll let them talk more. And to get their attention, what I found out is easiest to laugh with the female and agree with the female. And then, 
Okay, I can laugh with whoever I want to. I'm grown. <laughs> but the whole idea is, like, I'm trying to get her to ease up. Like, I want her to feel, you know, more loose, like she can talk to me. And then I can start to switch up my words in terms of, like, do I want to agree with her? Do I want to start disagreeing with her to make her talk more? But the more that I talk, I, it's like I kind of... I'm, I'm kind of giving myself a pat on the back because I'm letting her know who I am, like what I'm about, and like what I actually intend to do. You know, I ain't gonna say so much in life, but at least over a certain time period to keep her interested. And then I'm gonna give her a few compliments here and there because I never give compliments. Like everybody knows, I don't give compliments. You do not. Because I have no reason to give compliments. Like, would. I mean, it doesn't hurt to give compliments, to be nice, but the issue is when you do give a compliment. And we're going to get into that one a little later. Okay. Because I want to look at the, the definition of a compliment. And we're going to see, like, where the decipher's at. So, let's do a quick Google search real quick. Let's see. We have... Oh, my gosh. I can't type today. It's all that schoolwork. Okay. Definition of... Oh, my goodness. Let's try I think, this. I think compliments fall, fall under types of flirting. Like, there's different types of flirting, and I think compliments is one of them. So it's like a sub. It's like a subset of flirting. Yeah, they got they got it as a polite expression or mm -hmm. praise of admiration. Yeah. So I mean, I I guess that can fall under. Um. Yeah. Yeah. But see, like to me, I mean, you can give a compliment and not flirt, like. I can say, you know, good job on your work. And that's not flirting, but for a but female. That's a, that's a praise. Right. And it says, like, a sort of praise or admiration. Mm, okay, 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 let's, okay. So what you just said was a praise, but flip it and make it admiration. That sounds like flirting. <sighs> well, like okay. Okay, but if your teacher tells you that, are your teacher flirting with you in class? That's a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all see how quickly she tried to switch that? Like, uh, I, I think they're 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 a little separate. Like, I guess you can you can compliment and it can be under the umbrella of flirting, but I think that you really need that sort of you need that spice. You need that. Oh, this is exactly, you know, you're crossing that line. So, <clears throat> that's why I don't understand, like, what the, the big difference is. This is why, one reason why I don't do compliments. For some of the fact is, like, I know where that line draws, but apparently our people, our generation especially, does not know where that line falls. So, starting off, like, where do you feel that line is? I don't feel like there is a line. I don't. I don't feel that there is a line. I don't feel like people know what boundaries are. So therefore, there is no line. Um, that's crazy. Now I'm thinking like, <laughs> but that's no for real. Just thinking about flirting, like you can really say, like, I really like your car, and people take that as flirting. There is no line. So by people, you mean women, right? I mean men. <laughs> <laughs> I mean men. I mean. I think females actually do, which is the prime reason why I do not. Because you can't, you can't like tell a female anything for real without her thinking like either you want something or you trying to get at her or you got her attention and now you want her. It's like, dang, I just said you had nice nails. You spent $80 on them. Like, why can't I compliment you? That's so not true. It's the opposite. Males are like that. Males take everything as a compliment and as flirty. I think you're being biased again. <laughs> I think you're being biased. No, see, the thing is, because, like, I don't think guys, we don't get complimented enough. That's the issue. And that's, that's not. It depends on if they're actually. They don't take it as a compliment. I only think that it's. No, we get complimented when we do something conditionally to help others, in a sense. Sometimes. 
And then sometimes you get labeled as corny because they think you're trying to stunt on somebody when you might not really have anything. Y'all hear this foolery? Like, what? <laughs> no, being corny puts you... No, 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 no. No, sometimes when you tell, like, a bad joke, when you tell a dad joke and you're called corny, that's not a compliment. But it's it's lighter. No, 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 no. Sometimes being labeled as corny at times is being put in the same category as being called a cornball. So, like you, Murphy, you're corny and you make girls laugh, and that's why they like you. It's like a playful flirting. Okay, but again, but we're talking about appearance. And the thing is, like, appearance versus personality, like, those are two different things. Like, yeah, I get called corny, but they enjoy, you know, that corny sense because it makes them laugh. But we're talking about, like, looks. And you get called corny, then you're put into a category of, I don't want to really be associated with him. Okay, that's true. <clears throat> and like... But your looks, your looks don't, well, okay, I guess. I guess that's true. And see, like, like yeah, because, like, think about it. Um, From, like, a, fe- on a female standpoint, which, again, the reason why I don't compliment. Because, like, you can tell a female they look good and that they look great. And she'll take it too far. And she'll take it way too far. Like as soon as you can, can you can text her, and I bet the guy make the group chat in a few seconds later. Like oh, oh my god, he think I'm cute. Yeah, you're right. And it might not even be a good thing, or it might not be a, a good thing, cause like again, like sometimes when guys step to females, they might be a that chick might be a little out of his his range, and he tried to be nice, he tried to give a little compliment, but now it's labeled as flirting, and now he has an issue. Because he's not going to get too much further. Especially if she doesn't, like, like him. And she's not really trying to be around him. Then it's kind of like, you, you kinda, you're kind of dead in the water. And the thing is, you only might have been trying to be a friend. That's where I kind of get that. That's what, Honestly, I, that's why I don't compliment. Because, like, you, got, you lose the opportunity of having a friend just because she wants to think it's flirting. But why use a compliment to get a friend? What's the easiest way to get a friend besides being on the same level with them? Being nice to them. Would you like to be my friend? <laughs> that sounded super creepy. Hi. I, I I imagine like eyes wide, hair tilted, like hi. You wanna be my friend? <laughs> okay, well, you, you find okay, you find things of interest then. Doesn't have to always start with a compliment. Right. Oh, wait. You're right. Appraisal, appraise. It can start with a praise. Oh, that is a oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting you speak exactly, you know, what the truth is. Like, what, what, honestly. Because the thing is, like, even if y'all, are, it, it's simpler, like, especially in college or on projects and stuff where you have to be paired with somebody and y'all might become cool because y'all agree on certain things. But, like, what if you never knew them? Like, what if you're just hooping in the gym and you see somebody do, you know, maybe they fall. And you're like, oh, my goodness, they're a clown. Like, I want to be friends with them. Like, yeah. how do you approach that? And you laugh. Yeah. And then what's laughing? Common interest. Right. So now you call them funny and you just gave them a compliment. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Dang Murphy. Dang Murphy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it's hard to befriend someone because the way people kind of blow it out of proportion. And... <clears throat> That, that that that's that's kind of where I kind of like draw that that line where it's like before I find a friend like I gotta I gotta do some homework first like I gotta see what they about I gotta see how often they do certain things like before I just be like hey you wanna be friends yeah I seen that you do this and that was amazing because again like on a female just yeah just about I mean I go fake at times I just really came up to spoke to people are you a speaking type. I said, at times, I really came up and just spoke to people, just I mean, talking. That like you. 
But is that a bad thing, though? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it does depend. I'm sorry, I'm talking to two people at once. <laughs> okay, so in the instance of, okay, so if I just go up talking to somebody, that's cool, okay. But yeah. if I have, if I have a girlfriend, I go up talking to somebody. Is that bad? No. Why? Because I mean, it's not bad because as long as you're secure in your relationship, it doesn't matter who you talk to, unless they're trying to flirt with you. I mean, if she's trying to flirt with me, it's okay. Like, it's so that's cool, but... No, that's not cool. <laughs> then you don't continue conversation with her. But what if she's trying to, like, fund a project for me? Like, you know, what if I want to get my car fixed and she says she got me? Oh, I mean, that's not, that's not flirting. She's trying to help you. <laughs> right, but the way she's coming off is, like, you know, I take her to dinner and she get my car fixed. Like... Mm, okay, so I got to make sure I use that in terms of if a girl's flirting with me and I do need something, I got to make sure that I get something in return. State it by Kishari. The way you put it makes it sound so horrible. <laughs> but this, <laughs> this is what you just said that made it acceptable. So I'll try to make sure that everyone knows that it is acceptable. You got to have the right terms and conditions. Make sure she reads the agreements. Yep. <laughs> All right, make sure she checks the box and hits the line. Now, <laughs> Just like that. okay, so, okay, my biggest thing, though, like, where the issue really comes to play, I, I think it really is um, due to social media. What do you think? Yes. Social media enhances everything. Makes it much worse than what it is. I'm going to say, have you ever been put in this position? Mm-hmm. Of social media flirting? Like, in a sense where... Yeah, in a sense, but maybe somebody, you may have said something or you didn't do something on social media because you were afraid that it might blow up to more than what it was? Yes, that has happened before, actually. Um, and the, the thing is, like, you And yeah, that's usually how it works. <laughs> and that's 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 really why I get irritated because like people do one or two things. They either don't mind their business or they mind other people's business. And <laughs> legit. And like that's that's really where I have an issue at because it's it's kind of annoying. Like. <clears throat> It, it makes you not want to engage, you can say. And, and that's as, why I don't. But you gotta, get out, you gotta get out of the habit of not engaging. You know, that's how you network. That's how you network. I don't need to network. Yeah, yeah. They say your network is your net worth. Ah, noted. <laughs> but I mean, again, it makes sense because, like, you never know who you're going to meet. But you never know who's watching, neither. And... <laughs> I would tell two instances like where this has um been an issue because for one like i remember like i try to again you know you try to be nice you post on other friends posts and like you and that friend know what you're saying but those third parties they like to blow it out of proportion they want to screenshot it and send it to your significant others talking about literally like they come gift wrapped in it's just like yes. then you gotta it's like um no i just i just wanted to be nice i just wanted to try to give a compliment but now it's flirting and it's bad if you're in a relationship because then now you might be single (laughs) bro (laughs) hey yo no because like all right so this is honestly this happened a few times, but let's just go with the uh, the funniest time. So <clears throat> we was I was I posted uh Instagram uh collage or whatever. So I used to do these little bits where I would say, Hey, this is my friend and took the camera Yeah, and show who it was. So after I, somebody commented from you know who did it and I responded back to them and then I get a message um i'm gonna say about 40 minutes later from like my ex and she's like what's all this about so i'm looking at it i'm like what oh okay 
Um, I know exactly what it was. It was a friendly conversation. But the way I'm looking at it is she has an iPhone and the screenshot came from a Galaxy. And I know that because I got a Galaxy. And I'm like, okay, so somebody went and sent this to you probably was some dumb caption and now there's an issue and now i gotta explain myself what the problem is and i'm just like you serious like i don't <clears throat> i hate that i'm just saying like that like that that really irritates me between that one and like old instagram like you know that you know the part of instagram where you can like swipe in your um i think it's in your notification that you can see what like one person did like they might have liked and commented on such yeah. and such page Oh my goodness. They used to get you in trouble, huh, Murphy? <laughs> hey, man, don't keep saying it like that. Like, you make it seem like I'm bad. <laughs> but, yeah, like, the one time I definitely did. For some fact, this, um, I'll, again, I was trying to be nice because I was trying to look up, like, how do you, you know, regain engagement? Because, like, whenever I have these moments where I'll stop being on Instagram for, like, days, maybe weeks or whatever, and stop just doing whatever, then I'll be trying to re re-engage with people. So I had a little theory, like when I wake up in the morning, I'll watch a few stories and I'll try to reply and comment on a few posts. So <clears throat> again, the way Instagram are ops is they take everything, or the way they used to, they took everything that you had did and they'll put in a nice little folder and snitch on you because it will say, Sir Murph liked this post, this post, this post, this post, commented on this post, this post, this post, this post. This post. And of course, hey that's the only way you get attention that's the only way you can be nice and it might be the only way you get you know what's a reciprocation right True. so yeah i got a screenshot a little later on so that said oh so we just only communicate and we just you know making me look stupid out here since we just all on all these females pages right. and i'm just like uh no i just <laughs> I'm, I'm like can i just be nice. But again, it depends on like how some people take it. Because like if I send maybe fire and heart emojis, but then she sends her eyes back, then it looks back on me. Exactly. Okay, what about this? Did you and the ex ever talk about what flirting was in your relationship? Of course. Uh, flirting was communicating with anything or any object that had hair, uh, vulva, that had eyes wow. like a woman. And that was shaped like a woman with a female's name that was not her. So that <laughs> that was flirting. If I communicated, interacted with, there was an issue. This is why I had to not hang out with certain friends or couldn't hang out with them in public or couldn't post. You know how many friends I got with that's like tenured and I have no pictures with them? Me. We have like like two, I think. Well, okay. No, we might, no, yeah, like, like two, I think one of them was a video that you decided to hop in. Well, when I was trying to take it up, my, yeah. <laughs> Back then, I was mad, but now I'm not too mad because I, now we don't have any pictures. I'm going to just blame you on that one. <clears throat> oh, no, no, that's your fault. Well, that's not your fault, but we're not even going to get into that. Right, so we're going to blame the female because it's called ladies first. I was trying to be a gentleman. Like you said, we're not going to talk about that. But, okay, so if you had to say, like, how would you say is the best way to handle the situation? What situation? In terms of, you know, trying to dissolve, like, complimenting versus flirting. Or at least from, like, a relationship standpoint. Like, how would you dissolve and break down what is complimenting versus flirting to, like, your significant other? That is a great yeah. answer. Thinking about Sage, she not she don't talk to people, but she I mean, but she talk to people, but she talk to her people. Mm. And I don't talk to anybody, so I don't have to worry about that. Mm. Honestly, I guess that's a, a me thing. Um, I guess some people say I talk to everybody. You might be right. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie on that one, but. <laughs> I don't know. I guess in my opinion, I would say, just to go ahead and wrap things up, the the best way is to talk to your significant other and decipher what is acceptable and not acceptable, but also explain to them like how you are. So in the early stages, like 
do not wait until you know a few months later and she's like oh well why are you communicating with this person that person that person this person and that's something you've been doing but y'all haven't spoken about it so now she's kind of like confused because now she thinks that you're either out here stepping out yeah cheating <laughs> or you know doing something that you're not really supposed to so to leave it at that just effectively communicate with your significant other what complimenting and cheating is and i want to leave it at that